I've actually been working out what it would what it would cost the U.S. and I really only have good data for the U.S. Uh, to do what the IPC says, which is to transfer away from fossil fuels completely by you know 2040, 2050, something along those lines. Um, and uh, it's a lot of money, but it's actually not a shocking amount of money. I mean, it would cost the U.S. No, the, the cost here comes in terms of investment in new plant and equipment. So you're going to you have to replace existing power plants, uh, which are using wind or which are using uh, coal or, or, or gas, uh, by renewable energy and by some kind of storage capacity. And the cost of that, sort of between now and the middle of the century, would be roughly four to five trillion dollars. Um, give you some sense of comparison: U.S. GDP is about eighteen trillion dollars. So we're talking about uh, you know maybe a quarter of U.S. GDP. But that would be spread over over 20 to 30 years. Um, now that's not all, that's the gross, what we call the gross investment needed, but um, that's not all really f chargeable to, uh, to the, the transition to renewables because a lot of the coal-fired power stations in the US are already 50 years old and you know, they last a maximum of 60 years in general. Um, so they're gonna have to be replaced anyway. Um, and so if you net off from that four to five trillion the cost of replacing a power plant, which would have to be replaced anyway, quite independently of what policy we adopt, it drops down to about $2 trillion, or slightly under. And that actually uh, amounts to something of the order of, um, of 50 to $60 billion a year for the next 30-odd you know, years. Um, and that's actually only slightly more than we're investing in energy right now. Um, but we're investing it in the wrong kinds of things right now. Uh, currently, we're building, for example, some very expensive nuclear power stations, um, which uh, will end up costing probably, you know, the power from them will probably end up costing 15 to 20 cents a kilowatt hour when you could get the same power from wind and solar for you know, under 5 cents a kilowatt hour. Um, so we're making some investments which are going to look pretty stupid uh, when we look back on them in 10 years' time.